Can you guys see that bird up there working on the acorn? That's an acorn woodpecker. It's opening an acorn. And this is a favorite perch right here where they do that. So let's look down below the perch and notice what's down here. Let me refocus. I've refocused the camera to show you what is right below where that acorn woodpecker is. It's right above me and you can actually see be, uh, pieces of sawdust and things falling out of the tree up above where he's hard at work opening an acorn. Now notice how many acorns are down here around me on the ground and they've all been opened. Every one of these was opened by the acorn woodpeckers. So if you look at them, you can see some characteristics that tell you it was done by a bird. Let me refocus and show you. Okay, so see the mark right here? That is the mark of a beak. And when woodpeckers open acorns, they use, of course, the tools that they have, which are their beak, and um, is their beak. And so what you will find is um, a lack of the kind of marks that you expect to see if this was, say, a rodent or something. So this shows a lot of marks where a beak was banged into the shell to open it up. And eventually it cracks open and the woodpecker is able to get the acorn meat out of there and eat it. So all these shells out on the ground here around me show similar signs. Okay, I had to readjust the camera, but anyway, now you can see where the marks are where the beak struck the acorn as it was trying to open it. Here's another one, and this one is the uh, cap of the acorn, and you can see where it was opened up. Come on, focus. There it goes, it's finally focusing. So now you can see where it was banged open, and there's sharp marks, sharp edges that are kind of jagged. They're not chewed off like you would expect with a rodent. Right, and then next, this one shows on the edge here, it shows kind of a cut out, a little scallop area where the beak struck it and opened it up and just cracked the other half open. So they're pretty strong and of course they're able to put holes in wood so you'd expect something like an acorn with a little thin shell is no challenge for a woodpecker at all. Another thing to notice here is that all these show a very similar characteristic. They're all shrinking inward, these half shells are. And that's because the woodpecker harvested them when they were still green. And so as they dry, there's shrinkage happening to the shell. And so that's why all of these look like that. They were opened by the woodpecker, dropped to the ground, and now they're shrinking. Sometimes on the inside you can see little marks where the beak went through the nut meat and, and hit the other side of the shell. And uh, that also indicates it was opened by a bird. So in the background you can hear the sounds of the acorn woodpeckers. You can hear them pecking at the acorns. You can hear their calls calling to each other. And the entire forest floor right here is just littered with acorns. It's fall in the north woods and the acorn woodpeckers are doing their part. Uh, feeding on the, the bounty of acorns, and uh, if they miss any, hopefully those will grow into future oak trees.